Oh, all right, there we go. There's a first sign of a crappie. I think that's a crappie right there. There we go. All right, I've seen one crappie so far. There's a fish. There's another one. All right, sweet. I saw a crappie cruise by and I was thinking, okay, we're in the land of the crappie. And there you go. That's a nice one, actually. It's a nice one. There you go, on the horsefly. I went with the 164 ounce mule jig that time. I wanted something just a little bit lighter, something that was gonna sink really slow and that fish couldn't resist. Nice little slab right there. And I saw some other ones cruising around. Good to know there's some in the area. All right, see you buddy. That was a nice little bite. My line just jumped. Yeah, look at that one, man. Love that, love that. And there you go. Another horsefly eater. That one's a little smaller. Still, slab nonetheless. Cool, okay, we're on the board. Hello and welcome back to Slab Stories, a series devoted entirely to crappie. My friends, I've already got two crappie. We're on the board, we're getting things started. I actually took the day off from work today, so it's a weekday right now, which is really nice because we have less people around, and that's that's always ideal. It's so hard to get time during the week to fish, but today I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm taking a day off work, I'm taking a personal day, I'm catching some fish, and I'm really, really happy that I'm here. You know, it's actually super overcast today. We've had about a ton of rain over the last 20 24 hours and so I don't know how that's gonna affect the crappie but those fish are clearly still active they were off the bank a little bit I couldn't really see a lot of those fish they're kind of in that weird like five to six foot range and I can't really see them I'm not sure if they're on beds or not um, I can't really tell but either way I have a feeling there's gonna be crappie in numerous stages pre-spawn post-spawn and right smack dab in the middle of spawning so we're gonna just fish our hardest today and we're gonna see what we can get into Without further ado, let's get back to it. So I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it definitely looks like there's some areas where the crappie were on beds up here in the shallows. There's a little bit of a break line here and it looks like there's probably a couple beds down there as well, but it seems like the fish are kind of cruising along this little break line and they're either immediately post-spawn or they're potentially still spawning. There's one. I came back to the spot where I caught my first couple fish and uh, here we go, we got another one. Man, it slowed down after I caught those first couple so I'm like, whatever, let's go back to where we have proved there's actually fish and there you have it, another slab. That one came on the Mule Minnow 2.2 in the cowpoke color. Man, I just drifted on top of a real nice one. So what this area basically is, is it's a nice flat right here. It gets a lot of sun. There's lots of stumps and trees in the water, but on top of that, there's a nice little weedy drop off just about mm, 20 feet in front of me. So, you know, it's nice because these fish can come up and spawn and once they're done spawning, they can just go hang out on that drop off. And that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. So very interesting, certainly learning a few things. It just, it's kind of odd to me that they're right here, but they're not necessarily 50 yards that way. Um, it seems like crappie kind of pick their spots and they stick to that spot they can be really strange because they're really honed in on one location and they're not as scattered as i would say like bass when i find spawning bass it seems like they're like all along a bank and they're kind of scattered out whereas crappie they're in like little pods and they're only in one spot you can go 50 feet the other way and there's not going to be a dang fish it's very strange to me but again it's been a good learning because that's definitely been the case not only today but last trip as well There's one. There's another bigger one down there that I was looking at. All of a sudden this one came up and ate. This one's actually pretty good too. But that one behind him was even bigger. I don't know if he's still back there, but there was one quite a bit bigger than this one that I was actually looking at and I was trying to catch. Although all of a sudden that one came out of nowhere and just blasted it. I think that fish I was looking at might've pieced out of there. He probably got spooked when I caught his buddy. So I started kind of trolling this as I was going to my next spot. And uh, what do you know? Nice little yellow perch, that's a bonus. It's actually a decent little perch. Long and skinny, as they are. He was up here in the shallows. All right, see you buddy. I really don't see a whole lot that's that noticeably different about this bank than the bank we were catching fish on. So I guess time will tell. Like I said, the crappie can be kind of weird because you can find two banks that look pretty similar and one has a bunch of fish on it, the other doesn't. So I think they're just kind of interesting fish in that way. The only thing I don't like about this bank is the fact that it's absolutely loaded with vegetation. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be quite as bare as the last one. I think they like that little bit sandy or siltier bottom. They don't like the super mucky stuff. 
My strategy is basically get the pedals going, stand up for a few seconds, look around. If I'm not liking what I'm seeing, I get back on the pedals. What's this gonna be? Feels like it's probably a crappie. Oh no, I know what this is. It's a jumbo freaking rock bass. I knew this was a possibility. There you go. Nice little chunk, man. I think that's my first rock bass of the season. Nice little meatball. All right, I have not seen a crappie in a long time. That first bank I fished was where all the crappie were. And now I just cannot seem to find an area that holds crappie. Oh snap, what was that? Something just like boiled over there. I bet this is a bass, either that or a big meatball. Yeah, it's a big meatball. There's really big Roccos in here, I'm telling you. There you go. These ones are actually really small compared to what you can catch in here. But they're gobbling up that horsefly. I'll take some bonus meatballs, my friends. There you go. Okay, I tell you what, I am going to cross the lake into an area that I have never fished before. This is a relatively larger lake for me, and I've only been here a handful of times, so there's a lot of water that I've never fished in my life. I'm just gonna try a new spot, see what happens. Um, clearly, I am not having a ton of luck as far as crappie goes. Yeah, I've caught a decent amount of fish, but certainly have a lot of room for improvement, so that's what the adventure is for, my friends. I might just stumble on a pod of giant crappie or I might just stumble on nothing, but time will tell. It's literally like perfect weather. Such a great use of a vacation day, my friends. Sometimes you just gotta take a day for yourself, you know? It's important, it's real important. Back to fishing. There's a nice one. That's what we are looking for. That one's definitely on a bed. I went ahead and switched out my white horsefly for a Dakota Sunrise. It's definitely my confidence color for crappies, and it paid off. He was up here in these uh, these reeds. I always hear people talking about how they get up in these reeds, but most of the reeds I've been finding have been too shallow. How did I go down this entire bank and only catch one crappie? That surprises me. Well, I got an update for you. This here fish finder ran out of battery juice, so uh, we're rocking and rolling without a fish finder the rest of the day. But I tell you what, I'm actually just exploring back in this creek. I've never been back here before. I saw a creek, I'm like, man, I gotta go back in that puppy, and this is cool. This, my friends, is what kayak fishing is all about. Adventure. Anyways, obviously today has been relatively slow. You know, we started off strong, caught some crappie, and then it's just really slowed down since then. And mostly it's just because I'm exploring. I'm trying to figure out how to locate crappie. And the reality is, uh, you know, I don't necessarily know what I'm looking for, and I just haven't been able to locate the fish, and that's okay. I've still got a decent amount of time left today, so I trust that we're gonna be able to catch a few more. I'm hoping I can locate another school of fish, though. I really, as much as I will happily go back to that first school of fish that I caught fish at, I wanna find more so that way I I can just continue to build my knowledge bank about these fish. So anyways, I'm gonna explore back in this creek, see if I can find that other lake, and if not, I'm gonna bounce back to the other lake, and we're gonna hopefully find some more crappie. No matter what, it's been a good day. It's been a totally good use of a vacation day. Man, I'm having a blast out here. Anyways, let's get back to exploring. <laughs> I just had to catch at least one fish back here. And it's a micro bass. Like I said, there's a bunch of dinks back here. I could probably catch a bunch of these, but uh, probably shouldn't get distracted. Anyways, it was fun to catch them nonetheless. It's more not about necessarily the fight back here. It's more about the fact that I'm fishing in such a neat location. Ah, bummer. Unfortunately, that bridge is going to be an obstruction. I'm not gonna make it past that. So I'm gonna flip around and start fishing my way back. There's one. Yeah, what is this? Pulling pretty hard. Huh, there you have it. Looks like a little hybrid. Bluegill, maybe with mixed with a pumpkin seed, maybe. Man, he hit it like a friggin' freight train for being like a little three and a half, four inch fish. There we go. What's this? 
Oh, snap. It's a nice gill is what that is. All right. There we go. There's a pure gill. Solid one too. Good fish. There you go. Nice. You know what, when I first started coming back in this creek, I had full intentions of going back out on the main lake and focusing in on crappie. But what I've decided since getting back here is that there's way too many fish to be caught and I think it'll be a lot of fun to focus the rest of my day on catching creek fish uh, multi-species. So I'm gonna actually post that as a separate video, so stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be exactly that. Skinny water creek fishing for whatever bites, I'm excited to do that. Regardless, as far as today goes, you know, I was able to locate and catch some crappie, but I was not able to locate new numerous schools. And I think that's really what I need to continue to focus on as an angler. You know, my goal with Slab Stories is to just become a better crappie fisherman and bring you along with me on that journey. And so today I was unable to locate numerous schools. I found the one school, I caught a decent amount of fish, it was a lot of fun, but I never honed back in on them in other areas. So there's a lot to learn clearly and there's a lot of research to do. So I'm going to continue to do that. Anyways, make sure to stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so very much for watching. We'll catch you next time.